Surprisingly enough, they're pretty close to the end of the game. Oi, they! Shark! For this level, you probably want to stick around the, the surface, because this is a short level. And this is actually the last of the water levels. Oh, I got two and one. Corner pocket. Nice. <laughs> Those fucking sound effects for the... For the balls and chains crashing into the fucking floor is so great. Oh, here you go. So I told you, it's super short. I wonder why they never added a timer for these levels. Like, to see how fast you go through them. That could have been useful. Oh, if you want another good platformer in, in the same idea as licensed games, check out Cool Spot. That game is good. You could say it's pretty cool. Oh, they! <laughs> Don't shoot me. <laughs> Put the gun down. Come on, it's, it's, it's just a pun. I, I was not aware puns were illegal in this state. <laughs> okay, this is the dedicated ice uh, levels. And, uh, well, for the most part, you don't really have to go on the ice or the floor, but even then, I feel that the ice isn't that big of a deal. You can kind of stop on a dime here. It doesn't slide you all the way around. That is especially doesn't suck so much as it does in fucking Home Alone 2, but that's besides the point. Mm. Oh! Who left that soda can there? Bastardos. I haven't had a need to use any of the power-ups, of any of the special screen nuke attacks. That's amazing. Amazing. Some of these uh, ice levels can be pretty fucking annoying though, so gotta watch out man, this is where shit gets real. So you wanna be careful. You wanna... You wanna put your A-game in here. Who put the frog out here? Jeez, that's... That's some animal cruelty right there, if I've ever seen it. And that wolf is buff. He a buff man. He a buff motherfucker. He goes to the gym every day. He don't skip leg day. Among other days. And he spits balls out of his mouth. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> You know, there's a pretty cool detail about these ice levels. If you somehow end up really high up in the sky, you can actually go to space. In fact, we're about to see it happen. Thanks to this cannon. To space! Yeah, isn't that cool? <laughs> what kind of game would ever do such a thing? Such a silly, silly thing. Man, you a buff motherfucker, aren't you? But your buffness will not prevent me from winning this game. Oh! <laughs> it didn't prevent me from winning this level anyway, so. Fuck you, man. You may be the buff, but I am the smurt. <clears throat> oh! Have you seen that game called Kingdoms and Castles? You should give it a shot. It's pretty fun. Best described as. Uh, Anno 1404 for beginners, <laughs> but uh, it's it's pretty good. It's worth a shot. I mean, it recently came out. I think it's still kind of in early access. It doesn't explicitly say that it is, but considering that they have some features planned that they couldn't finish on time, I guess it could be called an early access game. Either way. It is very much playable, and it's very much FUN! Ugh. Stab the foot, you die instantaneously. This is what makes these levels very annoying at times. But don't worry. They're not... that bad. <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna blame the game for that. I was impatient, that was my fault. Let's try this again. Also, shouldn't I put on some better clothes? Like, come on, this gotta be fucking freezing in here. Unless it's that fake snow. 
then in that case, god damn, they got a lot of that shit to cover an entire continent. How do they do it, folks? How do they do it? Oh. Don't slip now. Don't slip now, boy. <laughs> okay, careful! Oh. <sighs> Don't fucking do that, man. That's fucking scary. <laughs> oh. Oh, fuck off, dude. That wasn't... That wasn't fair. That wasn't fair, nor square. That was bull. That was some serious bullshashi. <laughs> you'll get it. You'll get what I mean by that if you, if you watch the Revenge of Shinobi playthrough. <laughs> some people might re might recall seeing a gameplay footage video of that, like a no commentary playthrough. But man, I stopped doing that. Gameplay videos. I know there's a niche for them, and I don't know why I didn't jump there, but whatever. I know there's a niche for gameplay-only videos with no commentary, but I'm not really willing to fill out that niche, because, well, I like talking shit, man. <laughs> and I kinda don't feel like it requires a lot of effort, it feels too lazy. Plus, there's also other problems that occur, like having to deal with copyright IDs and strikes, because they're so much easier to catch when you have pretty much nothing blocking out the fucking co- Pretty much nothing blocking out the copyrighted content. Seriously, dude, this level, I remember this level. This is the level where I die the most every fucking time. Because it takes a bit for me to remember where all the spikes are, and also to get used to the controls. Look, I, w I just want to go fast. <laughs> but I gotta remember my own advice. Sometimes, you gotta know how to go slow. <laughs> Meanwhile, some people are like, Man, going slow in a Sonic game? Fuck you! Fuck you, Sega! <laughs> Seriously. Come on, guys. You gotta be kidding me. Like, you know you... <laughs> You did know that the uh, fucking water. Okay, you can hit your water levels all you want, but come on, guys. They're not bad. They weren't intentionally designed to be shitty. They were designed to be more challenging. And also to teach you an important lesson to slow the fuck down. Although, if you wanna argue like that, I'd say Marble Zone is probably the first one to teach you that very same idea because that's pretty much the zone that teaches you how to take it slow whether you like it or not <laughs> is this the end please oh thank goodness i exited this place i escaped good Who the fuck's riding me on discord I'll answer that later. It's just Jorgen trying to actually edit videos. It's kind of funny to imagine how that happens. <laughs> okay, well this boss fight is really not that challenging. You just gotta not get sucked in by the vacuum cleaner. Trust me, it's not that hard. Me getting hit is not indicative of this uh, boss fight's challenge. See? Told you. Man, this vacuum cleaner is so good. Eh, what the fuck? Let's go get something to eat. I'll take some pork rinds. <laughs> okay, this is the last area of the game. Montana Max's secret volcano! Oh, wait, it doesn't have a volcano. Uh, <clears throat> so... Montana Max's secret lair! The secret one up at the top. This place is the pit. <laughs> this place is gonna challenge your shit. 
Look at this, the fucking staircase is full of spikes. That's some that's some challenging right there. Some challenging shit, man. Though, not entirely. Like I said, this isn't a particularly hard game, so keep that in mind. It's just that now, for the last area of the game, everything will be thrown at you. Even the demonic toasters! Yes, yeah, seriously, what the fuck's wrong with us? Don't touch the spikes, by the way. Even if they're not on, they can still hurt you. And if they are on, they will be shitting electricity all over the place. And that ain't good. I died! I thought I could dodge that in time. Oi! <laughs> See, I told you. It's kind of challenging, isn't it? Yeah, you come over here, man. I kind of need you. That bot is actually friendly for some reason. You can abuse him. Because for some reason his head flies up into the sky. I don't get why. But you can abuse that to gain advantages. Dude, what the fuck? Why did that hurt? Ow. Man, I didn't even realize there was a fucking spike in that staircase. Oh no! <laughs> Boom. That's a good sound effect, isn't it? <laughs> I don't know why this mailbox is so pissed at me, but I don't want to mess with it. Can we make it through this area without dying a million times like we did in the snow levels? There's only one way to find out! And that is by doing absolutely nothing. From your side at least. From my side, I have to put effort. And effort requires effort. Of course. Why wouldn't it? <laughs> Seriously, what's demonic toasters scare me? <laughs> Why do they have to be so scary? <sighs> I thought I'm gonna fuck up the jump. Here goes the toaster. Uh, I mean the mailbox, the mailbox again. <sighs> Careful with that shit. Oh yeah, you want this, because this will allow you to completely bypass uh, that gap. For some reason, that, that allows you to fly. Not entirely sure why, because if you try running at that same speed, it will not work. Also, try not to take the springs, I think they all take you to spikes. And that's bad. That ain't good at all, my, my friend. That is some... Um, not bueno stuff. <laughs> this is dangerous, man. This is Danger Town. No, you, you know Flavor Town? Well, this is Danger Town. <laughs> the only flavor you'll be tasting here is danger. Need a little excitement? <laughs> hey, remember that commercial, man? That fucking commercial with Randy Savage. Need a little excitement? Snap into a, a Slim Jim! Blah! Everything explodes! Fucking great, I love that commercial. Snap into the fucking Slim Jim, motherfucker. Oh! I could really use one right now! I'm fucking up! I need a little excitement! But only a little. <laughs> yeah, these balls are pretty shiny. Shiny, shiny balls. Oh, they... Where am I even going? Oh look! Toilet paper! <laughs> this can crush you! So, watch out! Hey, what's this? I don't remember this. Well, this looks useful. Good thing I visited this place. I'll take these. Got my lives back. All the ones that I lost. That oh! The fucking toaster! No! Cut it out, man! That was nice. Come on. Come on, be a good boy. Careful. I can't kill you. That would be bad. Oh, that, that was kind of easy, actually. I didn't think that would be that simple. No carrots to eat? No problems to have later on, they needed to take a shit. <laughs> Alright, 
let's see what's this all about. Oh, it's this place. The Pseudo Maze. You need to take these paths upwards to find the right way. Because going horizontally isn't gonna take you nowhere. Ugh! Maybe except to Death Town, but Death Town is not currently accepting any new recipients. To my knowledge, at least. <laughs> we got already too many fucking bastards waiting in line, thanks to me. Here we go, finally. Uh, finding the right route around here is not particularly difficult, but it can be a bit annoying, because you can never remember exactly where you need to go, all the routes look the same. I think this is the way to go. Like, you're looking for one of these doors. Let's see... Nope, this was not the door. If you took the wrong door, you will be brought back to the beginning of the section. At least they're nice enough to do that much. Unlike other games where they would actually... What they would do instead is make you go through a bunch of bullshit before they make you realize Wait a minute, I wasn't here before, what the fuck man? You want a good example of that? Revenge is Shinobi, the last level. I hope this is the door. Oh yeah. Oi! Why do you have to put the spiky, spiky electrodes right in front of my face? Oh, and they, they spawn in some new ones when you walk around. That's helpful. <laughs> Except no. Oh man. <laughs> I hope the bitrate will be good enough for this place because I can already see the blurriness. And it's all thanks to the graphics of this place. It's not even the bitrate shitting itself up, it's just the way the place looks. Oh, there is something below this. Good. Give me my platform! Okay. Balls. Ride the balls. The shiny, shiny metal balls. Walk through the in to get to the out. Oy vey. Oh yeah. And also, now I need to ride some more balls to turn on a device which will turn on disappearing blocks. Because everybody likes these. Except no. <laughs> Nobody fucking likes these. Oh. God damn. Yeah, you do need to take this route here. To turn on another one of these switches. And that route just takes it to more HP. More HP equals more bueno. So why not? Watch out. More toilet paper is here. To show you a good time. But you don't want a good time with a toilet paper. Because the only time you have with a toilet paper is a shitty time. <laughs> Why can't the fucking bookworm asshole just show up a little closer if he can just open up wormholes through time and space continuum anywhere he goes? Meh. Hold on. Last level of the game. And, uh... You... You gotta watch out for this person first. It's an insta-kill if she catches you, so try not to get that to happen. Bad things will happen. Whoops. <laughs> also, despite your best uh, instincts, do not attempt to actually damage her. It doesn't work. Also, be careful when going fast. You will get smushed into walls, that'll hurt, you will get stunned, and you're probably gonna get caught. A good idea is to try to make your predator here <laughs> to slide and skid all over the place so you can buy some time! Fuck! Fuck you! Fuck you, ugly child. Why do you exist? He's also fucking fast. Holy shit. Why do you keep up with me like this? Oh, man. If that was a hit, that would have been death. Death to the infant. <laughs> okay, I won't finish that sentence. <laughs> Fuck! 
God damn. This really is uh, a lot more difficult than I remember it to be. Okay, let's... <laughs> I was about to say, let's try it for real, but... For some reason, I got caught up on that. Because of course, had to happen. Hey, you can see the frozen levels from behind the fucking windows. Hey, what? How'd you speed up fast with me? God damn it. That's bullshit. That's some bullshashi. Let's try this again. Man, would people stop writing me on Discord or something? Like, I'm recording stuff. <laughs> Should have set myself to do not disturb. Oh well. Oh, if you haven't checked already, you should check out our Discord. We talk shit every day. Plus, it's a good opportunity to meet new friends. New friends. <laughs> that have about the same attitude as you do about life. Fuck life. <laughs> yeah. I gotta be more careful. I'm running out of fucking lives here, man. Why is she here anyway? I thought this place belongs to Montana Max. Seems kind of random for this person to be here. I thought they're not related. Or are they? Seriously, I gotta be fucking extra careful. Oh, here we go. Oh, that sounds kind of spooky. <laughs> you won! I'll return, Babs, and the others to you. But first you must give me the treasure. Nah, bruh. Okay, you asked for it. <laughs> what the fuck, that was easy. Okay, the idea is simple. Beat the shit out of this mech. Ow. The mech shoots laser beams. And laser beams are bad for your health. This is a good trick to do. Because he always switches sides after getting hurt. As you can see, it's working real well. Oh! Damn, they died at the same time. Okay, now I need him to actually move to the other side for me. Thank you. I got a 1-up from that hit? Damn! It gotta suck to be Montana Max, man. This is kinda easy, man. <laughs> Strategy? Fuck that. I'm here to just beat the game. Oh, fuck! It didn't work! He's still alive! The standard amount of hit is not enough for the final boss of the game. But he still does the same strategy, so... I don't know, keep at it. Oh, I jumped too early. He also has the rocket fist. Kinda dangerous. Wanna watch out for that. It's like a fist, but on a rocket. That blows up the mech. And that makes Montana Max quite upset. We promised to let the others go. What about the treasure? Well, as they say, finders keepers. That means go fuck yourself. <laughs> darn, 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 the treasure is mine! Nah, dude, I found it first. <laughs> so what do we do with the fucking treasure? Well, we take this island right here, these islands, and they put fucking amusement parks all over the place. Holy shit, that fucking ferris wheel is so big. It's like the entire size of an island. Dude, where'd you get all the- oh, wait a minute. <laughs> I was gonna ask, where'd you get all the money for that? Okay, let's skip this. Oh shit, I skipped too much. Damn. No, oh, whatever. We can always freeze frame some shit. So, what about this game that I could say? I think that made sense in some grammatical system. <laughs> I gotta work on my English, man. It's, it's getting a bit deteriorated. But anyway, what is weird to say about this game? It's good. It's not hard. For the most part. <laughs> but it's good, man. I mean, I like it. And I recommend it. Give it a shot. I don't think you'll be disappointed, man. You don't even have to like the show or even know what the fuck it is. So that's a plus in my book. Anyway, that's about it for this playthrough. Man, this really made me happy. Unlike that 
Home Alone, fucking piece of shit. We're gonna need to record that. But it's not gonna happen soon. Not today. Not next week. Soon. Anyway. I'm Walder Richards from The Game Train. And I'll see you all next time. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned.